Hey guys, so today we're going to look at a brief overview of the cell cycle and its phases. The cell cycle can be seen as two main phases, interphase and mitosis. Interphase includes GAP1, synthesis, and GAP2. So GAP1, otherwise known as G1, is before the cell replicates its DNA. The cell is still growing in size, and this phase is all about getting ready for DNA replication. The next phase is called the S phase, or synthesis. This is where DNA synthesis and replication come in. The DNA makes copies of itself, so that there are two copies of the exact same DNA in the cell. Further on, after the DNA is replicated, we go into the GAP2 phase, also known as G2. This is when cells are done synthesizing a new copy of their DNA, and they continue to grow in order to prepare for the actual division. Once the S and 2G phases are over, the cell is now ready to go into the M or mitosis phase. The cell does not grow anymore and goes through a whole process of dividing itself. The M phase is actually shorter in duration than interphase. As you can see from these two cells starting to divide, a cleavage furrow forms in between them. This is when you know they're animal cells because something called a cell plate forms in plant cells. This is because plant cells have cell walls and animal cells don't. In addition, there is another phase called the G0 phase in which the cell does not grow or prepare to divide in any way. A lot of highly specialized cells, when they're fully developed, enter the G0 phase like neurons. They simply stop dividing. Throughout the cell cycle, there are actually checkpoints that the cell needs to go through in order to proceed from one phase to the next. For example, the G1 phase makes sure that the cell is prepared for DNA replication. The G2 checkpoint ensures that growth and replication are finalized and finished, and the third checkpoint in the middle of mitosis allows the cell to proceed to the last stages of cell division. The cell doesn't go through one of these checkpoints for some reason, mitosis doesn't happen and the cell doesn't divide unless the checkpoint allows the cell to proceed. Cancer cells are cells with uncontrollable cell division. They pay no attention to the cell checkpoints and don't stop it dividing. They don't exhibit this characteristic that normal cells have, called density-dependent inhibition. As you can see in this diagram, normal cells will stop dividing once the space they are anchored to is filled sufficiently. However, in this diagram with cancer cells, they exhibit no density-dependent inhibition and still keep dividing no matter what. And that's your overview of the cell cycle. Be sure to look through my other AP Biology content videos to get ready for the exam in May.